Welcome to the future transportation in Minecraft. Now, I know this machine doesn't look particularly impressive. It's just uh, another portal and a minecart in a bed. But using this device, you are able to multiply your cord both of your coordinates by 8. And using this, it's possible to get to the world border in one or two minutes using only five or six of these machines. And even better, this machine requires no chunk loading, no other players, isn't super laggy, and it's just generally really fast. So to use it, first you need to break this bed since it's currently occupied, replace it, get in the minecart, and then go to sleep in it. Now this will teleport you into the nether, and then you'll go to this place, and then go back, and we are now at 8,000, zero. So we were at 1,000, and our coordinate got multiplied by 8, and now we're at 8,000. So you can keep using this until you get to the world border. So we're now at 64,000. Now we're almost at the world border. We just fly a little bit over and we're at the world border. I don't know if that was under a minute or not, but it was it was very, very fast. So the reason this thing works at all is because the game does not expect the player to be able to sleep in the nether, which is exactly what I've figured out how to do. So this uses a bug um, with beds. If you're riding an entity like a minecart or a pig or a horse or something and you try to sleep on a beg bed, you will not actually sleep on the bed, but you'll fall out to the side like this. So then if you build a nether portal where you're going to be laying on the ground while you're asleep, you'll actually teleport through the nether portal while you're asleep. Now this configuration only works for going east, but uh, you'll just have to move the minecart around in the portal to see where you'll fall in. But if I click here, then I'll go through the portal. So at first I was highly disappointed because uh, you see you wake up when you go through the portal. But it turns out you don't have to. By reading through the Minecraft code, I discovered that the game doesn't actually check whether you're in the nether and wake you up. What it does instead is it checks whether your bed is broken and if it is, then it wakes you up. So, what position is it checking? Well, it's checking exactly the same position as your bed is in the overworld. So, if we place a bed here at 1,128, which is the exact same position as our bed in the overworld, then when we go through the portal, it will not immediately wake us up, but instead, teleport us right to this bed. So the reason you teleport back to your bed is because all the players in the nether are asleep, which means that it advances the time and wakes everyone up. Now advancing the time does nothing in the nether, and when you wake up, you'll wake up right by your bed in the nether. So you can see kind of what it's doing when there are other players online. So if you go to sleep, you will actually kind of just stay in this, like, Shadow Realm place. I don't know. And because not all the players in the nether are asleep. Now you can leave your bed, and then it still thinks you're in your bed in the nether, so you'll wake up by that bed. Now since you travel to exactly the same position in the nether, when you go out this nether portal, it'll be almost like your coordinates are multiplied by 8. Which is what happens. So now we're at 8,000 instead of 1,000. And you could just build another one of these things up there and put another bed in the nether and then keep going out to the world border. 
Of course, to actually make it to the world border, you'll have to place a bed at like a couple million out in the nether. But it's a really small amount of resources. It's just a lot of traveling time to construct this. Now, sadly, it is impossible to make one of these go inward. You can only make it go outward. Uh, that's due to one small problem with uh, sleeping in beds in the nether. So if you want to go back from the world border after using the exponential nether travel, you could either use a uh, ender porter that's remote activated in the spawn chunks, or you could use the tried and true method of resetting your spawn point and then jumping off a cliff. So I think this system has a lot of potential and hopefully it can keep being improved and be a really useful and fast method of travel used in Minecraft.